we start to coll collaborate uh, six, seven years ago. Uh, th this is because of Facebook. I saw Radenko work in Facebook. It was interesting uh, for me. And then same years, we met in Chanakale Biennale in Turkey. And uh, we start, uh, we met there, them uh, there, and we start to talk. And later on, in the spring next year, uh, we start with our collaboration. What was interesting for me is that he's using objective real time in, in his uh, aquarelles, let's say. And my time is subject, uh, su subjective and um, obs obsessions. Because when Euro came, uh, like uh, money, it was the 1st of January 2002. And I did 1st of January uh, uh, drawings with the uh, Euro and cross. And then I started thinking that maybe I can do each day, one year, few drawings, usually two. And when uh, one year was passing, I couldn't stop. I'm doing uh, this now 19 year, years. And now I'm doing, after a few years, I'm, I'm start to do each day four crosses. Because, because of this, I can't then take some out and do some collages or some new works. Um, and till now, I did around 26,000 drawings in these 19 years. 23rd of April, uh, 24, the Julio Knifer famous artist was born. So then I go to my folders and I'm putting out of the folders uh, the crosses which I did in the 20, uh, 23rd of April 2002, 2003, 2004. So here is the lo logic or here or here. Uh, same dates. So when I put off from my folders these crosses, uh, then I got in my studio and start, and start to uh, looking them. And after a few uh, days, I choose one and then I do interpretation of them. And uh, when, when I do interpretation, uh, it's the same format that then, uh, Radenko did. So, because usually uh, you got in art history a lot of time artists who collaborate, but let's say Fishy Weiss, you don't know what Fishy do and what Weiss do or Gilbert and George. It's not possible to see, but for us, it's really, it's very precise. Always Radenko first, then it's me. And this is two different generation because Radenko is 19 years younger. It's two different uh, uh, countries. I am from Slovenia, Radenko is from Republic of Serbia, and two different techniques because Radenko always using, let's say, aquarelle, uh, and each, each ink, and I'm you, mostly uh, collage, but here, let's say, it's a real collage. Here is a uh, collage which I did uh, uh, through computer. And it's same. This, this was uh, Yuli, June 30. It's the opening of Documenta Castle 72. And this Documenta Castle was famous because was Harald Zeman did first time that it was not 100 days of document uh, of uh, to see the exhibition, but it was 100 days of happenings of events. So he totally changed idea what art exhibition is. And because uh, of this, I put inside background what I did, his portrait. So it's all the time, uh, this is really about the time, but uh, different perception. Um, th this is our work. When I, when I study in the Belgrade uh, painting, it was a time when my generation was in the gap between the digital and analog time. 
And for me, it was very important to discover digital world, digital age. And it was very important that the computer came to my home. And through this tool, I discovered uh, another world. I discovered uh, another way of the history, historical events, and different kind of things. It was almost every day my practice, I collect images from internet. And uh, it was really spontaneously, but after that I just uh, discovered that I have a lot of material that I can play with this, that I can make some things. And it was very important, 2012, that I start one project, it's called 365. Every day I paint one historical events, and I choose simple technique, just white paper and, um, and the black pigment. Because for me, watercolor was very interesting technique that I can answer every day on historical event that I can finish my, my works. But on another side, uh, this uh, black and white technique and everything was really, for me, important because I had a big influence of the cinema from the 50 and 60, and I really like this kind of the images from the cinema from that time. And uh, I realized these projects, and I had a big solo show in Kunsthallen Darmstadt 2014. And it was a time when I met Roman. But Roman already before the start, his uh, projects Bay on the Cross every day. And uh, it was just spontaneously moment in the Chamakale Biennial that we start to talk and to create some possibility of some collaboration in our works. And uh, for example, we work uh, always together, like I did my part in my studio, and after that I sent works to Roman, he go to his archive, and he just discovered what could be possible dialogue, how he can create final piece. But first I give the ball to Roman, and after that he create this, this dialogue. Yeah. And always my side is uh, uh, this side, and Roman's side is another side, and always my side is mostly black and white, and he play with the color, he play with the collage, with another technique. And for this piece, I used the one uh, cross. It was the one iconic cross from the video spot of the music band Justice. And uh, when I did this cross, because, uh, it was, uh, because it was my memory, or my influence by, by, by our dialogue with Roman, and the cross plus cross, and uh, when Roman came to my studio, he saw this piece and he told me, okay, I, I can use it, I will make the, the new piece. Yeah. It was the way how we collaborate. We really enjoy in our collaboration because as Roman told you, we are the different generation and uh, we really want to create uh, new value. And the both of us is interesting of the meaning, what is the image today when we are living in digital time and, uh, and every day we are playing with some images, but we use these images, some of them, in our art pieces. We are really selective, but always every day we are really surrounded by different kind of information, different kind of images. And this, our works, is really, key questions is really what is the image, what is the status of image today? And it could be the, one of the possible interpretations from my side of our collaboration.